day 21 of the 20 days of Christmas with rubber and ink. And today we're going to make a very different color Christmas card. Um, I find that this color combination is super elegant. I have elegant eggplant and a crumb cake as well as a piece of real red that's going to go together. So to start we're going to use a framelit from the Holiday Ornaments and I have two pieces of uh, cardstock already cut. It's three um, inches wide by eight and a half long and as you can see I already placed my framelit towards the bottom and centered on the um, Elegant Eggplant uh, cardstock but I'm going to cut put it through my Big Shot together. So once you're out of the Big Shot um, you have the two ornaments and the two die cut pages. We are going to use the positive of one and the negative of the other. So this is what's going to happen. So I'm going to be using the negative of the elegant eggplant and the positive of the um, crumb cake. And as you can see, because I cut two pieces at the same time, it also embossed around it, which is really cool. Now I also need the little heart from the um, Hearts Framelit uh, collection. And I want to cut this heart on the very center of this ornament. So what I'm going to do is place it there and put a piece of washi tape and I want it right in the middle. And again, I'm going to cut it together with a piece of Rio Red. The ornament also embossed, which is a pretty cool feature, I think. And all the die cuts that we're not going to use, you can use it for another card. So, this is what we're going to do. Because I want to use the technique that um, gives you a continuous image that was stamped. We're going to use the negative of one, the positive, and the negative of the other. So we're going to turn it around. And again, you're going to see that all the die cuts are going to fit perfectly. And we're going to make sure that they're not going to go anywhere. So I'm going to put a piece of washi tape again. So once you have everything assembled together with something, to, a removable uh, tape to hold it in place, you're going to turn it around and I am using the Bells and Bows stamp with the poinsettias and I'm going to use Versamark on it because I'm going to emboss it on clear embossing powder. So what you want to do is make sure that the image covers all three um, pieces at the same time. So I'm going to put it across all of the images to start and press it really to so get clear image and you keep going. You're going to turn it around and just create a background there that you like. So once you're happy with your background, you're going to get your clear embossing powder and sprinkle all over. So once it's ready and it's all embossed, can you see how beautiful it looks already? So we're going to separate the pieces here. So we're going to mount this portion on the base and you just need lots of strong adhesive, especially around the window. And trim the excess. So now we need to create a window here. So we're going to do the same thing, just open 
and you're going to see that it's really really easy to put the um, frame it in place it just falls into place so I'm going to put this through my big shot and once it's out you can pop the window and it's perfect so now it's time to assemble the inside of the card and again it's super simple you want this um, ornament to line up when the card is closed so you need adhesive on the ornament and you're going to close the card and then place the ornament through the window there you go so when you close it's completely aligned and now for the fun part we're going to make a floating heart right in the middle here so to do that I needed a very small um, sentiment so I'm going to use the wishing you Christmas cheer and it's going to be I'm going to stamp it and then um, just trim just the wishing you Christmas cheer so I just have a piece of white cardstock here and I'll be stamping the sentiment on the same um, elephant eggplant color and I'll make sure that when you're stamping you leave enough space um, to uh, cut a, a long strip so once you have the strip of paper we are going to kind of measure here and right in the center of the sentiment and I think there will be good so I'm going to use my uh, 1 and 3 8 uh, square punch to make a V shape on both sides and this is the cool part we are going to use a tiny piece of um, dimensionals to adhere the heart to the sentiment only so the heart will be floating on the window just like that and it's going to fall into that little well place there now all you need is two um, mini glue dots one on each side of the sentiment so it adheres to the front of the card And the placement is easy because all you have to do is put the heart where it should be. And there you go. Isn't that cool? So to finish off, I am going to put tiny strips of the Shengping glitter on the sides. So this is the card for today. Uh, we used a couple of techniques here, but in the end, it was really, really worth it because it's really pretty. I hope you liked it and you join me tomorrow for day 22. Thank you. Mm -hmm.